Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to do an unboxing of the Black Sabbath Live Evil Super Deluxe box set. Now I've been super excited for this box. Um, I never owned the original uh, Live Evil, so this was a great opportunity to both get the original uh, album remastered and also get the new remix also so and i've heard a lot of good things about the remix so i'm really looking forward um, to listening to it now obviously this will uh, only be an uh, unboxing so this won't be a review um, of the actual sound quality and all that but um, i can tell you from uh, what i see if i feel like the uh, product is good quality and I think that uh, the previous uh, Black Sabbath uh, Super Deluxe box sets have been really good quality. So I'm expecting the exact same here. And uh, as far can, uh, as I can see right now, it, it uh, looks good. And also, I'm doing a voiceover now for, for the video. So this was recorded a couple of days ago. So this is the first time I do voiceover. So let's see how it goes. There's the sheet on the back of the box. Always keep uh, those if they fit into the box, uh, which uh, these uh, Black Sabbath one, ones do. So um, that's really good. So yeah, I keep that. Um, let's see here. And I also keep the hype sticker. I always stick it on the on the inside of, of the box. Um, actually put it on the inside of the lid. So, so I think I think that's nice. Um, so yeah, let's see here. So let's open up the box here. Come on, come on. There you go. So the first thing you see is the book. Now this book is very, very nice. It has a lot of essays, a lot of stories from the the previous um, albums and how Dio joined the band after Ozzy left uh, in uh, 78 or 79 or whatever he, he, he left after Never Say Die and uh, it explores that a bit and then it goes into to this album also and the rest of the Dio era and uh, yeah all the pictures and everything is nice good quality there's a lot of writing, very interesting stories and all that. It, this book is pretty thick. So, um, so yeah, and I'm going to go through uh, this uh, book page by page. So I won't uh, comment fr through the rest of this. So um, you'll just see uh, what this book entails. And um, yeah, I will continue with the commentary afterwards. So yeah. And that was the end of the book.
really really nice presentation a really good quality and uh, yeah i'm very happy with it so really up to the standard of the rest of the black sabbath uh, books that have been including the deluxe sets but this one is quite a bit longer so that was nice now here is a replica of the original tour book now there were two versions of the tour book there was one that looked like this one obviously and then there was a more square shaped one that had the uh, mob rules cover on the front and said the uh, uh, world tour or something so yeah but this is one of the versions um, and they replicated it here now i don't own the original uh, tour book so i can compare it but um, from what i've heard of uh, other people that own it it's pretty much identical so it's a very good replica um, and um, yeah loads of great pictures and a bit about all the members and um, yeah very nice inclusion um, so yeah this is this is really nice now that's my favorite <laughs> uh, vocalist of all time ronnie james dio such a legend um yeah i would have really liked to to have seen uh, this tour and the previous heaven and hell tour too man if i was alive then that would have been so cool so yeah that's like my dream band if i could go back in a time machine i would really want to see with black sabbath on the heaven and hell or the mob rules tour and heaven and hell and mob rules are probably two of my favorite albums of all time so yeah just really really love those albums and uh, yeah so this is really really nice Really cool pictures of Ronnie and the rest of the band. Yeah, and the stage set up there and promotion for the upcoming album Mob Rules. That's really cool. Now, here's also a poster. I also think this poster is like an original poster that uh, that was released back in the day. Um, so, yeah. This is a really cool poster. Now I will struggle to fit all of it in the frame, so I put it uh, horizontally like this. But uh, you, you get the gist of it. You see all of it here. Really, really cool poster. Unfortunately, I don't have too much room on my walls, but otherwise I would have put that one up uh, immediately. So really cool poster. So that's a nice inclusion. And now, now we get to the to the records the most important bit now this is the original album uh, remastered for the 40th uh, anniversary so yeah now i haven't listened to these yet so uh, but i've heard that this version and um, just like the original is kind of muddy not really clear sounding and the, the audience like sounds way back uh, uh, in in the mix. You can't really hear that this is a a, a live concert um, in that sense. So, but the musicianship is amazing. So um, yeah, so they come in polyline sleeves. I'm really happy about that. So uh, we won't see any scratched or scuffed uh, vinyl. And all of these were perfect. No issues at all. Not even a single mark, no dust, no, no, nothing. They were really, really good quality in the hand and everything. So yeah, really looking forward to listening to all these. And uh, as I've said before, I've heard a lot of good things about the, the sound quality of the, the remix. So I'm expecting nothing else. Uh, and uh, obviously the original remaster will be pretty good but um, I've listened to the sh streaming versions of this obviously and I've heard that the remix is way different so but I haven't listened to like a CD or a vinyl so so yeah really good this this album is obviously one of the the great uh, heavy metal hard rock uh, live albums of, of the 80s um, now they tampered uh, quite a bit with with the recording in the studio and 
Uh, I think even some parts were redone and all that, but um, I still really, really like the album. It's the same thing with uh, Ozzy's Speak of the Devil. He like redid all his vocals in the studio. Now, I don't think Ronnie did that at all. Um, you hear that it's live, but some of the other musicians probably tampered and redid some solos here and there and all that. So, yeah. Now, here's the 40th anniversary remix. I like that it's a different cover, so you don't just get two identical looking uh, looking um, sleeves. So that's nice. And they also put the art from the poster on the inside, all these pictures. Really nice. They could have done something else on the gatefold, but whatever. It looks cool, so I won't complain. Um, here's the first record, obviously. Looks great. So yeah. I'm probably gonna listen to the 40th anniversary remix way more than the original album. Obviously, I will um, uh, listen to both of them and um, see how they sound. I'll probably listen to them both and then uh, before I uh, uh, release the video and then I will put in the description or in a comment or whatever I will decide to do and uh, post a little mini review of what I think about the sound and all that. So I will probably do that. So so look for that if you see this video. So, uh, so yeah, everything looks good. Everything looks nice. Everything feels high quality, no complaints. So yeah, really, really happy. Now I have the Sabotage box set also. Uh, from 2021 and uh, now I have this one so I want to get all of the super deluxe sets now there is one for um, uh, Paranoid and there's also one for uh, volume 4 and uh, technical ecstasy there isn't any box sets for like the original first uh, safe uh, self-title album there isn't one for um, Master of Reality and Sabbath Bloody Sabbath and uh, Never Say Die and the uh, um, uh, Dio era albums also. They just did these like re uh, deluxe remasters. So I hope they put out more box sets also uh, for all those albums. And even the, the era after Dio and uh, through the 80s and the 90s. So... Uh, so yeah, really, really nice uh, box set. Really happy with it. Uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.